Pay attention. Creepy weirdo. I would like a strong, powerful woman to protect me. Mm-hmm. To fight for America. Yep. Who be square? The Playable Characters Podcast. Hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Playable Characters Podcast. You are Brian McGinnis, aren't you? And you are Calvin Escato. Hey, by the way, you're wearing a Morbid and a podcast shirt. I am. I got it from the Kickstarter. This wasn't planned. It sounds like a commercial, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. I am wearing my More Banana Podcast t-shirt. Yes. Uh, go to morebanana.com. Check out their shows. Yes, including Welcome to My Vagina, I'm Listening, a Frasier podcast, and more. That is not all one thing. It's not. Welcome but to My Vagina just... is not the Frasier podcast. <laughs> Although, wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> the way you said it, it sounded like that's the, the Frasier podcast called Welcome to My Vagina. <laughs> called I'm Listening. Which is weird. I've actually been watching all of Frasier like, from the beginning yeah. on Netflix. And it is pretty much a lot of it's Welcome to My Vagina. Really? It's a lot of blind and first not dates. Not a Frasier guy. I should watch more. You're not, I've it, seen my parents used to watch it. It's funny. It's very highbrow. And there are a lot of deep references. Right. That's why I didn't like it. I yeah. wanted poop and farts back then. I know. It's no South Park. but uh, Which is which nailed their, what, 80th season this year? How, it, Dude, it was hysterical. I I have absolutely hysterical years. I keep hearing it's good. So good. This is level 140 of Playable Characters Podcast, by the way. Yes, it is. Uh, check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Playable Podcast. Please, you people are the best. Play uh, Patreon.com slash Playable Podcast. If you want to give us a few bucks, uh, that'd be great. Anything else you want to plug, my friend, before we get to our amazing guest here? Um, You know what? No, let's just jump right on in. Dude, let's jump in. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Our guest today, Um, I feel dumb. Like, it's we've, we've had a few doctors and scientists. This guy seems like the top yeah um from one of the most popular nes games back in the day bionic commando we have the inventor uh I, I, we're going to talk more about it but the guy who i think invented the bionic arm how are you sir yes i'm fantastic how are you guys doing uh, this is great. great what's your name by the way heinrich schlemmer <laughs> heinrich schlemmer yeah is that german it how could you tell uh, the the, the yeah. schlemmer part we do it's, our research. It's extremely German, yeah. Very extreme. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. How German is it? <laughs> so German. <laughs> um, thank you for being here. Thanks for... Oh, do you still live in Germany, I guess? Or? No, I live, okay. in, I live in Queens now. <laughs> do you? you ah. say? So I can't... I kind of can't go back to uh, Germany. Oh, really? What <clears throat> happened? Let's get into it. You I don't want to get into it. There were just some, just some things. That's why we're here, you know? <sighs> so you, did you, you invented the bionic arm for the bionic commando? Is that I correct? did. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Calvin, would you like the bionic arm? I think I would, you know, because I'm not as tall as you, so I would need it to. Most aren't. Things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's originally what it was for, actually. I'd originally um, designed it so that people could reach things on higher shelves. Yeah. And um, the government just turned it into a weapon? Well, it didn't. Uh, it was like a little too powerful. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple people were injured. Oh. Oh. And um, so then the, the, the government ended up. Uh, using it as a weapon, but that mm. wasn't actually its original intent. Was it heavy because the guy couldn't jump at all? <laughs> yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't jump. Was it just heavy, like the arm itself? No, I think that guy just couldn't jump, um, is what they told he me. He is a white man. <laughs> and uh, so that's why the arm was perfect for him. I got you. Okay. What, so what did you invent it for yourself? What were some of the things you wanted to grab that were just out of reach? Is it, was that the whole uh, idea? Books. In German, because I'm okay. from Germany. <laughs> sure. Uh, jars full of soft pretzels. Uh huh. Um, knockwursts in trees. Yeah. Um, Do they get stuck in trees a lot? Sometimes, if you're at a picnic or something and you're uh -huh. playing softball, um, <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah. So, so what? So, were you an inventor? Was this like your first thing? Did you invent other no, things? I, or? No, I invented lots of other things. Oh. So I invented the bionic arm to reach things on. Yeah. High shelves, and because of um, a number of injuries and right. lawsuits, we had to uh, turn to never really came out yeah. like vaginal mesh. I got it. What's that? Like vaginal mesh. Yeah. Vaginal mesh. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of lawsuits. What is that? So, like, after you have a baby, you know, like they put the mesh in so that you can keep your um, inner bits intact. You never heard of vaginal mesh? I have not. Yeah, that's a, the thing. So, you know, like when you have a baby and then your uterus is all like, we're, we're, I had a baby. My yeah. wife had one. <laughs> I don't know why yeah. you know so much about this. Did you? Wait. I they put it. mesh in there. Yeah, it's a mesh to like help keep like the uterus inside and like so it can heal. Easily. A lot's going on down there during a baby. So, I mean, I hey. Edit, I edit medical textbooks. I learned things. That's right. I will never experience those things, but no, I will that's, learn that's it. That's crazy. <laughs> what were the lawsuits? Oh, because it was basically made out of like 
the equivalent of asbestos, basically. So it was poisoning people. <laughs> <Jesus Christ>. huh. <laughs> I definitely would prefer a bionic arm versus. No, I don't mesh. feel so bad about all the people that <laughs> yeah. died from my bionic. Oh, they arm. died. Well, not. I mean, some did. Yes, a few people. Oh wow. Uh, I shouldn't have said all the. the <laughs> only, uh, I feel like five is not that we, many. We can edit around that. No, let's worry. keep it. All right. In. But Thank so, you. so how did they? How did they? Die? Like, what? What happened? Were they? It was just too powerful. Yeah. And um, one person, the arm. I mean, I don't need to go into the whole thing. I feel but, like we um, should. Yeah. People. Open one person, the arm smashed a jar, and then the uh, uh, the um glass shrapnel oh. and then another person that went through a wall and hit someone on the other side of the wall <laughs> and then another person to find how do you do too high it pulled them up to the ceiling then they let go then they fell and then um another person how high is your ceiling? they stayed where they the arms stayed where it were and they got fired backwards oh down god. through the floor oh gosh um, that's like when bugs bunny put his finger in yosemite sam's gun and they were on a patio <laughs> so <laughs> wow those that's uh that's a lot of we put warnings on it after that. We were like, do not use, after, if you're on a patio, aiming at a glass jar, right. have somebody living next door, yeah. or are stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you gotta have- That rules out a lot of but people then. still, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of stupid Aren't people. we all on a patio <laughs> when you think about it? Yeah. Um, wow. So, so, but yeah, so there were a number of lawsuits. It was, but yeah, it was not my first invention. Well, what else have you done? Uh, so- he Heinrich? I, yeah, Heinrich okay. Schlemmer. Same thing. <laughs> Um, and I invented a a thing that helps you open jars. <laughs> Your big jar guy, like a can opener. It's like a can opener, <laughs> but it was more like a high powered laser. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And so, and it was a little too high powered. Yeah. And um, we had to pull that from the market because people are stupid and didn't know how to use it. Sure. And instead of aiming it at the can, they would maybe aim it at their thumb and. Uh. Uh, you know, I didn't know you could open a thumb, but it so it would open their thumb. Or stupid people, kids. You know, they put it where the kids can get it. And, kids you are know, very and good. Yeah. Someone aims it at the wall, and it you know opens the wall or whatever. Yeah. And so um. So that didn't work. So that was my one of my other inventions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, did you have a did you just, did you just have a thing for jars? Just reaching no, them, opening. I, okay. No, I invented a a rotisserie chicken cooker. Oh. Okay. That's not safe. Yeah. It was a. Uh, was it? flamethrower kind of it was like a domestic flamethrower not a flamethrower flamethrower is a bad word right a object that threw flames <laughs> for the home use right. for chicken cooking yeah we have ovens but you wanted it well this is different than an oven though right it's a not a flamethrower <laughs> but it cooks right. chickens very much with faster thrown I guess. flames and so it cooks it quicker and more evenly, mm. if you spin the chicken. Oh, so you have to manually spin the chicken. Well, yeah, yes. All right, so that's what the problem. Is. So <laughs> it's hard to aim a, a <laughs> flamethrower, and I guess I, I'm doing the turning motion now. Well, yeah. I did have a it's chicken like, spinner too, but then that also had some. That was also had some taken off the market for some reason. Well, let's start at the beginning. Where did you get your schooling or your inventing uh, urge? Uh, I went to school at the prestigious uh, engineering school in Germany, Der Uberstabliebenstein <laughs> Berg, for it's, boys. It's still going for boys. Okay, and uh, no chicks allowed. No. Okay. okay. No Fräuleins, <laughs> and that's where I first learned my love for um, Machen Machen, which is oh, German okay. for oh. good engineering. <laughs> is it okay? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And did you graduate? I did not graduate. Right, there now was we're getting, yeah. a, now we're a little accident. <laughs> what happened? Um, is well, this another one you can't talk about? Or Let's talk about it. Well, I, I can talk about it. How um, long ago was this? How old of a man are you? I, I, I am 300 years old, and I look fantastic. You don't you have to I tell, you do. I wouldn't have have to tell me. I wouldn't have guessed that. Another one of my inventions. It's oh! This, it's, this, um, it's called a moisturizing lotion. Yeah, we have that. Like, yeah. You, you yeah. had your own? Yeah, mine's a little bit different. <laughs> it's a, makes you mortal. You load it into a cannon. <laughs> and other than that, it's just like moisturizer, but it's okay. shot from a cannon. Oh. Uh, and it's very dangerous. I will be the first to say that. I think most of my inventions are pretty safe, if used correctly. There's no safe way to do this one. <laughs> it's, it's like the extreme think, money it's shot. extremely dangerous. Yeah. So who but it's you... why I look so good, because it shoots the moisturizer 
everywhere with a force okay no the problem is most people just put it on the outside of their skin right because they're lazy okay. and they're Stupid. cowards but if you fire it in with ballistic force yeah it really gets in the pores and that's why i look so good how did you test that then <laughs> i tested it on my um uh ex-wife who passed away on a boating accident <laughs> You believe that? That was very convincing, and I'm gonna pretend like that's true. Did, did you invent that boat? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> so it was a normal boat. If I had invented it, it would have been safer. We wouldn't have. <laughs> I don't know that, that problem. Where think, she I don't know. Fell overboard, covered in moisturizing cream. Ah, uh, uh, you brought the cannon on the boat? <laughs> no, it was the cannon was not involved. Okay. But the they found traces of uh, moisturizer on the body. Did this but, prompt your move to Queens? Yes, it did. <laughs> Yeah, just had to flee, and I just love it here. There's an energy. Sure, there's a lack of extradition laws. Ah, okay. Uh, there's all sorts of great things about New York. Yeah, it's so easy to get lost in a crowd here, <laughs> and change your name and get facial reconstruction surgery. There's lots of great restaurants. Yeah, that's right. All that stuff. Yeah, it's all part of the appeal. Okay, of the Big Apple. All right, it's starting. I'm starting to see the. Puzzle starting to come together. You don't see anything. I don't. No. But I'm a the three hundred year old thing is interesting. Yeah. I have to ask also, like, so it sounds like there what are you using as a power source for your objects? Because it seems like it's very like, you know, a lot of joels going on. This is gonna surprise you. <laughs> Everything lots has and lots of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Just plain <laughs> old <laughs> and lots of them. And uh here's dirt? the thing. People are like, Oh, batteries, they don't have a lot of power. You're thinking of the round ones, mm. you gotta go with the square ones. The nine volts. Mm -hmm. You a Duracell guy, Energizer Bunny? What are you? I I like a uh, Huber Dubers. <laughs> I mean Steinsberg, Billsberg, Nacken Stoops, which are a, I don't know if you I don't know if you could tell, but a German brand. Right. right. <clears throat> yeah, those, they are really good. Do you have those imported from? Yes. Okay. You have to because I haven't seen those on the shelves here. Yeah. I get them off the black uh, the dark web because they were they're discontinued because each one has a, a dying star inside it. And that's why they're so powerful. Holy shit! And they're really good. So you can you can harness that power. You're saying, <clears throat> yeah, of a dying star. Mm -hmm. That wow. seems like you'd be set forever with that. I know. Seriously, I mean, you think you could like run a power plant or something? That's does, great. Does you would Hooper... think so, but they're very dangerous. Yeah, obviously. Does <laughs> right? Huber Duber, etc., does it stand for like supernova in German? I'm... Uh, no, it's the it's actually the German word for battery. Oh, Huber Duber. Uh, Etc. <laughs> yeah, no. Uber, Duber, Stuben, Fein, Sturg, Bergstein, Fels, Matt. Yeah, Lund. it seems like a lot for the package, but hey, whatever works. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so you moved here. What else was it? I mean, I, I want to ask: Were there more inventions that maybe didn't go? Had, have, have any inventions worked? Well, they've all worked. <laughs> I think just a little too well is the <laughs> problem. The, you know what I mean? They work too That's good. That's true. Has any, have any of them been mars, mass marketed to the public at all? We had this one. I made this one thing to help you put your shoes on. <laughs> that was a little bit like a shoehorn, yeah. mm -hmm. but it was a little bit more like that machine in, I don't know if you've ever seen the American movie. I'm not sure if, if I'm saying it right. Der Fly? Oh, yeah. Der, <laughs> der Fly? Yes. The Fly, the, yes. As yeah. we call it here. Oh, The Fly. Yeah. Okay. We call it Der Fly. Okay. <laughs> And so it was a little bit like a shoehorn, but yeah. a little bit like that dare. I'm not saying if it, I'm, I don't yeah. know if I'm saying it right. Machine. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. yes. Dare mm -hmm. machine that. Um, I have uh, not seen the fly. What happens? Really? What happens in it? it? Where there's the. Machine. Well, I know what happens, but what 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 machine? Uh, isn't it the machine that like kind of combines the DNAs? It's not supposed to. It's a teleporter <laughs> okay. that's supposed to move you from one area to another. Right. Yes. And my machine did the same thing. Instead of. So you know how like normal shoehorns suck. They're just st stupid. It's just like a piece <laughs> I of I mean they kind of work. Whatever right? and you put it behind your heel to put your foot in the shoe and it's just like there's got to be a better way. So mm -hmm. what my machine did was it transported your foot into the shoe. Oh. Okay. So but there's no stick. It's simple. It's easy. That's it's a 2 billion dollar machine <laughs> yeah, that so. you put your foot in and it transports it. There's actually two machines, and each one's so it's four billion. Okay, <laughs> one for each foot. And, and well, so yeah, well, and one. So it's actually four machines: one for each foot and one for each shoe. Oh, so <laughs> each foot has its own machine. Well, yeah. So <laughs> and Foot Locker didn't buy this. They did. Oh, and, wow! A uh, couple people were injured. 
Yeah. Um, that you got to read the directions for. What's that? You got to read the directions. That's for that. what I said. Left, right. I mean, that's, that's a what I said. Well, so yeah. yeah, a couple people had their feet transposed. <laughs> oh, ooh. So their left foot was on the right, and the right foot was on the left. Would that then, help? Would that be good? I don't know. I don't think so. It does not help. No, at all. Because balance wise, be like a duck. <laughs> yeah. Right. You'd be worse. Than, you'd be like a flamingo or something. <laughs> okay. We fought. Um. Wow. So. No, that one didn't. So then, foot, foot so, Locker did Foot Locker sue you then, or? Uh, this was the German. Well, in Germany, we don't have Foot Locker. <laughs> what, we have what, what food, you... food Locker. <laughs> okay. It's like your Foot Locker, but with umlauts. Right. Mm-hmm. Sure. And so, uh, yeah, they were upset. I bet. Now, it teleported just your foot mm-hmm. into the shoe? into the shoe. What happens to the rest of your body? Nothing. You're <laughs> fine. It's 100 percent safe. But where does your where like from the ankle up? Where where is that part of your body? I don't think I could explain it to you, and I don't want to sound rude, but. Because you're too dumb. <laughs> okay. I don't, I'm not pick, Like, your foot goes off your body and teleports into the shoe? No offense, but you're too <laughs> stupid to understand it. I, I get that a lot. So I don't mean this. No, no. That's, I don't want to sound mean. No offense. But your take. brain is too small and stupid and yeah, dumb okay. to understand it. Look. But no, I don't mean that in a bad way. No, I get it. Okay. I have a bit of a belly sometimes. Man, I hate putting my shoes on. I get it. Yes. Right? We've all... <laughs> You get it. Calvin Thank you. It. Finally, a guy who gets it. Calvin is very thin. He doesn't have this problem, I don't think. Right? You don't, I think that. <laughs> you don't hold your breath when you put your shoes on, do you? I, I don't, but I, I also don't think that. <laughs> I have to sometimes. A foot to shoe teleporter. Depending on breakfast or dinner, I have to hold my breath sometimes. But like, can't you just sit down? Oh, I'm sitting down. <laughs> and you <just> still... <laughs> but, <laughs> so, yeah, I think the teleport might have gone a little too far. It makes... I guess it... You know, hey, I would like to just. Put oh, my... it didn't go far enough, is what I sort of think. What we, what else were you trying to? I mean, two billion dollars is a lot to ask people to spend. Hmm. Also, how'd you get the raise of R and D funding for that? Yeah, wh- where are you getting this money from? <laughs> I can't tell you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's very old. Maybe he's saved. Yeah. I, you, you say you can't answer a lot of questions. <laughs> this is a podcast, way. sir. And yet you keep asking. <laughs> Um, did you invest in something back in the 1800s and it just, I did. Okay. Uh, ginger snaps. The cookie. Yep. 300 years ago. Hmm. Everybody was like, this is crazy. Yeah. Ginger is disgusting. It is. on The a snapping yeah. motion is too much. <laughs> people don't want to be snapped by something. It's a little rude sometimes. That they're yeah. biting in. Well, I think a lot of people back then, they're like, I bite into it. And mm. then the, but the, it snaps me. Okay. Is what they were sort of the concern with it so anyway so um snaps is also like hey your mother's so fat right that's more like a dirty dozen same thing or i guess you're saying oh snap it could be snaps right it was just not a very popular cookie and i invested in it and it's just you know it's buy low Mm. and that's what i was doing at the time and then since then ginger snaps have become very popular and so every time somebody buys a ginger snap sometime somewhere i get a little you know i get a nickel wow which is the deal and so um just everywhere. Yeah. It's like, the, just the, doesn't matter the brands. Even if you make ginger snaps at home, I get money from that. <laughs> really? That's yeah. amazing. We had Carmen San Diego on a few months, like, a few weeks ago. And mm-hmm. we, she went back in time. Yeah. We told her, like, hey, did you ever think of like betting on a sports game or something? Like, she should have invested in ginger snaps. She should have. Well, no, but she liked <clears> the art of thievery, though. She loves it. Yeah. She's still broke. She kept all of her treasure. Yeah. Speaking of broke, so what's your house like <laughs> since you're making all this ginger snap money? And I mean, I assume you must have well, yes, holes everywhere. I My guess. house is a mess. Yeah. Honestly, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, because I'm always working on new inventions yeah. and stuff, and sometimes they escape or gain sentience and try oh. to escape or <laughs> gain sentience and find some of my other inventions that are uh, locked away because they're too dangerous. But I can't That's... destroy them because they're impossible to destroy. And then the inventions Jesus. find those inventions and then it's craziness you real, know it's a, it's so, a real ex machina thing uh, going yeah <laughs> wow oh i also invented the salt shaker that's also where a lot of my money is the regular regular, regular salt, the shaker salt shaker or the shaker. electric one you push the i have one, I have one you push the button and it does it itself like it, cor- it grinds the salt yeah, what no, I, I well, we cook a lot at home so it's great for cooking no i mean there's an electric salt shaker oh salt and pepper shaker wow both hands baby that's so weird yeah I invented Did one you? kind of like that. So what? I invented the normal salt shaker, which I still feel is the best. In restaurants everywhere across the yes. world. That yeah. one you just shake it a couple times? Yeah, before that, people didn't know what to do. They would just take, there were just bags of salt. <laughs> at each table? That's... And people didn't know how to, they're like, how do I get that from the bag onto my food? I mean, you and dump the whole thing, you have way too much salt. Some people would dump yeah. it, some people would take a bite of food and then 
take a bite of stick their face <laughs> in the bag like a deer or something and so i was the only one that was like hey why don't we take the salt uh -huh. glue it to a bayonet oh and then stab people in the tongue with it very lightly <laughs> you're so close on a lot of these yeah <laughs> that was the <laughs> first that was the first thing and yeah. then eventually after a lot of trial and error um okay we got to the what you know is now the the official salt, salt shit really well that's mm -hmm. so and that's that's yours that's mine that's okay well that's cool. that's awesome so i make a lot, a lot of money from that i use your product daily almost yeah yeah yeah, yeah and i get i get residuals oh nice. every time you shake <laughs> listen closely you hear a little Ding, ding and that's that's what that is that's oh. me. yeah i thought it was like a thing in the salt shaker yeah you shake it it goes like it sounds sort of like yeah yeah mm -hmm. but if you listen carefully it's actually a little it's a ching huh? sound of ding of me getting, oh my getting, God. A, getting a penny well, i'm gonna smile time next shake. time i have some friends i don't know i'm yeah. glad to know we're supporting you in your death trap business how about the salt yeah, packets? Well, i'm not in the death trap business yeah well. funny <laughs> joke haha -ha. <laughs> how about those salt packets no that's not me no is that cutting into your profits a bit yeah a little bit all the most of the fast food places those just do yeah Oh, I want to shake my salt out of a little bag because I'm dumb. And you try to break it and you have to like snap it in half. Said more nobody ever. More snapping. Yeah, right? No. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do. You know what I mean? Said nobody <laughs> ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got to. I'm not sure if that's how you say it here. Yes. Okay. No, what, that's what, right. What's the German phrase for? Said nobody <laughs> ever. Said no one. Like, really, how we say it. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, or we be like, or we like like cha. That's, so that's a your accent gone almost until you bring it back. Like you can do mm -hmm. that. Like you're, you're very New Yorkish now. Yeah, I'm a real New Yorker. Yeah. I love going to the restaurants and wiping Shake. my fingerprints and having okay. facial reconstruction <laughs> surgery and going to Central Park. It's great. I love the energy. Do you go to restaurants to just shake all the salt shakers? Just I go there and I tell them I'm like that's me. You know, I'm the guy, and they go what? And then put my face on the on the wall you know next oh, to the nice. guy from goodfellas yeah yeah, oh, yeah yeah they always put me next to the guy from goodfellas they'd like go get your fucking shine box guy every, every, always <laughs> next to him i don't know why every pizza place has got to have them mm -hmm. you know or else how are you a real pizza place mm -hmm. so have you had any contact with the biota commando since yeah, yeah. Creating his great arm? question yeah we hang out sometimes oh uh we play shuffleboard together and he uses oh, the arm pretty good you <laughs> know that's cute yeah, yeah it's cute um sometimes <laughs> and then sometimes people get hurt he still can't control it that he well. He still is not so good with it. And you, wow. uh, and 30 years. You he's think. getting older, yeah. also, as part of it. Oh, wow. so he still got it? Can he, he put his a regular arm back? He hasn't, you, he, he hasn't figured out how to take it off. Like the Winter Soldier, huh? Uh, oh, damn. That's a regular arm with fingers, right? When, no, I think that's all metal, too. Yeah, right, but it's got fingers. It's, oh, yeah, it yeah, looks like an arm. Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. Like it's a not like an extendo. Stretchy. Yeah. No, thing. it's not as good as mine is. It's, I think, what you're saying, and you're right. Do you get jealous of other like weird arms, like Mega Man's arm? Mm. I wouldn't say jealous. I would say uber schmoopen, <laughs> which is the German word for jealous. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, but I am sort of an arm connoisseur, if that's what you're asking me. Oh. Um, like Great. the Venus de Milo, I'm not interested. No about, arms, oh yeah, no arms. You know, I, about Venus I saw Williams. That, oh yeah, she's got two arms. <laughs> yeah, she's got great. great arms. I love her and Serena. I think she's got really yeah, yeah. good arms. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I saw the Venus de Milo at the at the art museum, and I was like, well, "Why does everyone like this?" You know, yeah. I was like, "Oh, this is really great." Said no one ever is right. what I said. <laughs> but there's sure opportunity you... to give her two bionic arms, then, right? Yeah, I tried, and <laughs> yeah, I was dragged out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet they're like, "Stop helping!" Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, which I hear a lot. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Are you working on anything now, Heinrich? Are you working on... I'm working on a couple things. I'm working on a toenail clipper that you can Jeez. probably guess the general tenor and tone of. Yeah, um, what, what does that look like? I mean, Is that laser-based or more mechanical-based? Guillotine? It's not, it's not laser-based. <laughs> it's, um, it's a series of... It's kind of like a... Imagine a car wash, okay. but it's all knives. <laughs> mm. So instead of like the soap things, yeah, you just, know, nice. So I'm working on that. And you stick your feet in these things to trim your toenails. Yeah, because trimming your toenails is a pain in the butt. I gotta hold my breath. Am I right? <laughs> you don't have to hold your I breath. We gotta really this. have a discussion about this. <laughs> 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 I don't like things down there, you know, on the floor. It's but you could just kneel to cut your toenails. You know what I usually do? I put my foot on top of my bathroom sink. I give, I ho I hoist it. Wait, really? And hold over the sink and just snip, snip, snip right there. Oh, I just like kneel and then have paper and then. Just Sometimes I do that. Yeah. 
you're thinner. <laughs> you, you can do I like way how you're more. like, I don't get it. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that Brian is three times your size. <laughs> that's so weird. What do you mean you can't just... <laughs> It's like, that's, like, that's like me saying, why can't you get a cab? You know, like, it's, it's like, okay, there's a huge I've never experienced that. Yeah. <laughs> I've always been thin. Racism doesn't stop you from kneeling or <laughs> stretching. Uh, Your arms are pretty... Well... <laughs> <laughs> touche, touche. Good point. My arms what? Were you about to compliment me? Well, yeah, because you have long arms. I do. Yeah, Thank so God. Really I was, touch- I'd probably pass out every time I took my, put my shoes on. Yeah, I mean, you, if you have T-Rex arms, that'd be a problem. But that would like, be weird. You're killing it. You know, people have like weird arms. Really? You've seen people like arms that should be a little longer. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I had noticed that before. Well, oh. maybe that's why we need you. Hey. I was at Disney World recently, and I noticed a lot of people there had like kind of short arms. Or lots of very subtle, mm. weird body problems. Like short arms. Was it like the characters? No, the people. The actual people. <laughs> a lot of people with like kind of arms that were a little too short or ears that were too small. I don't know what the deal was. Hmm. Where were you? What part of Disney? I was in the uh, Freaks and Geeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. The normal. I don't know. I just kept seeing lots of people with short arms. Interesting. What, what were you doing at Disney World? <laughs> I was just on vacation. <laughs> okay. Just yeah. having fun. Just hiding in I was working a little bit with their Imagineering department. They asked oh. me to help out with some stuff. Oh. So You still get people to ask you to do stuff? Yeah, you'd be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody learns the lesson. Right? That's great. I mean, hey, you got a great mind, obviously. Like we, we, we had Dr. Wiley on a long time ago. Oh, yeah, he's a good friend. Okay, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, good friend. Loves making robots. Yeah. They tend to go awry sometimes. You know, he's, he makes a couple weird things. Yeah, well, he always acts so innocent. He's like, oh, no, my robot destroyed the world. And I'm right. like, you fuck, that's what you wanted. <laughs> yeah. You knew it was going to do that. Yeah. Why'd you put the machine guns on there if you didn't? <laughs> but I honestly, like, will put machine guns on a fork to help it chop salad. And then it honestly just, <laughs> because people use it wrong. Mm-hmm. So machine that's the gun- difference between me and Wiley. Machine gun on a fork or a fork on a machine gun? Machine gun on a fork. Okay, it's a little different. No, yeah, it'd be crazy to put a fork on a machine gun. I mean, not. Really. I don't know. I did try that too. It was sort of like the bayonet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the point of the bayonet is you got a knife on your gun for when the gun runs out of ammunition mm-hmm. or when you're doing close, you know, trench fighting. Right. But the fork on a machine gun is different. That's for when you're going. You shoot somebody and then you need to take a bite of salad. Oh yeah, yeah. There and you if go. you have to put the gun down to pick up the fork, that's when they get you. But okay. with this, <laughs> you're good to go. You're good to go. That's good for tossing the salad too. I'd imagine. No, maybe right. it's really that's fa- different. That's no, come totally, on, don't no. be <laughs> first. don't be yeah, blue. You're right. First, first thing you don't said be that blue, I've Calvin. <laughs> Poor guy <laughs> who invented tossing salad. Now it's forever. Was that you? What did you invent tossing salads? No, I do have a okay. solid salad t- <laughs> tosser uh, catapult type thing that okay. I do. What have you thought of scaling down a bit? And maybe your inventions are again they work. Thank I guess you. technically. Thank you. You're welcome. Quoted. Yep. Quoting they, you. They work. His inventions work 100 percent of the time. I, I, on the whole says line. Brian McGinnis. I didn't uh, say the whole thing. <laughs> but Mr. McGinnis, uh, <laughs> can you please tell the court? Did you say that his inventions work? I mean, technically, yes. We have the we have the old life in jail. <laughs> Wait for me. Yes. Oh shit. I, <laughs> We can we maybe take down this episode. <laughs> so maybe make it on a smaller scale. That's what I make because I think you could ch- you could ch- do a lot of good and change the world mm-hmm. if you didn't make everything so probably violent, so weaponizable. Yeah, like look, I'm drinking a cup of water with some, uh, just a glass of water, uh-huh. and this is just a plastic spoon. There you go. Calvin's got a plastic spoon. Nothing wrong. You can't go yeah, wrong you know, with that. I'm just, I mean, I'm not trying to judge or give you, you okay, any. You know. So he's got a soup here. How do you eat your soup at home? I have like this, uh, it's kind of a luge. It's like a five-story soup luge. Yeah. Oh. And so you put the soup. It's super simple, easy, user-friendly. You put it in the elevator, the soup elevator. Right. It goes up to the top of the luge, and then it comes down. And by the time it gets to the bottom, the soup is going about 55 miles an hour. So you do want to be careful. And then it just right into your mouth. Is it cool by then, though? Uh, it would be. That's. But it's a heated slide. And um, so it's very hot. So, it's boiling right at 60 you. mile an hour soup. Coming right at you. And the really nice part is if you, if you get your body nice and straight, mm-hmm. 
it shoots right in your mouth and then straight out your asshole. Oh, wow. Mm. So you don't, you know how it's like you got to eat soup and then your body has to digest it. Most things, yeah, most yeah. things. It's yeah. a big, boring process. <laughs> well, you don't you have to wait. wait you don't have wait. to wait for it. You got to sit there. You can't do well, anything yeah, you else. you have to wait. You know, yeah. I, I, I kind of understand what you're saying. You know no, what I mean? fewer calories too because it just shoots right through you. So no, mm-hmm. when you eat, you don't have to wait to poo before you do another test. What do you do? Yeah, Any, how do you do? Literally anything. You walk around. Go shopping. Do an errand. Disgusting. Play a video game. Stadia. Uh, <laughs> very unsanitary. No, so it goes, but with the soup luge, it goes right in your mouth and straight out your ass. Yeah. In a boom. Like Again. That, and you get all the nutrients, none of the calories. Mm-hmm, <laughs> I guess. And it's great. I'm with you on this. <laughs> okay, but what, the, even that, the one thing Oh, you're you going to find a problem with it? No, it's not. Even, <laughs> don't make it a heated slide. What? Even that might make it so. Well, it doesn't have to be a heated slide. Okay. If you're, if you're drinking, if it's gaspacho, okay. you turn the heating elements oh, good. off. Okay. Okay. Although still flying at 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Maybe okay. angle it a little lower. Well, it has so. to. Why? What? Why does it have to go that fast? <laughs> Why does it have to go that fast? To go out your butt? I don't want to sound rude, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but you're so dumb <laughs> that I couldn't explain right, it. Right. I can try I'm, to explain okay. it. No, I'll try to do it in a way okay. you would understand. <laughs> is any of this coming through? I get it. Right. I get it. Do you get it? I, I got it. Is that clear? It. Okay, great. So Man. um we are almost on but can we ask oh, can we, do you I have wanna... a website or like where can we find your invention? Or your research? Dark web. Oh, just all dark web. <laughs> dark yeah. web. That makes sense. Just get on there. Darkweb.com is that it? Yeah, yeah. Darkweb.gov <laughs> backslash Canada. Okay, yeah. Not Germany. You wanted to really escape <laughs> really escape that way. Yeah. If, right. if you find my invention somewhere, here's what you do. Stop, turn around, and go in the other direction. Or <laughs> at least read advice. the directions. <laughs> at least read the instructions. Right? It would be nice if somebody did that for once. Look at what happens when people use, like, read the directions. Look at uh, the bionic commando. Yeah. yeah. He used it, not the way you're supposed to, but... He didn't have any problems. It was deadly to everyone around him, but he was fine. You and that's the key. I just realized you helped kill Hitler. Yes, that doesn't get enough, you don't get enough praise for that. You're welcome. I know, right? No, Seriously, know. Like, you're welcome, everybody. Like spoiler, sorry, everybody who didn't play the 1987 Bionic Commando. Yeah, if you but, don't play Bionic. Yeah, if you haven't beaten it yet, which I don't know what you're doing. But yeah, yeah. This he, uh, at the end. What was his name? Uh, Joe. What was it? Super Joe. Super Joe, which is the, <laughs> the dumbest name. <laughs> Pretty dumb name. He uh, he <laughs> jumped long? off a building and shot Hitler's helicopter right in the cockpit and blew his face up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. Well, that actually wasn't Super Joe. That was Lad. That was the Bionic Commando. The Bionic Commando is not Super Joe. Super Joe is a different character, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah the Bionic Commando's name was Lad Spencer. Lad something like. Oh that. yeah, it was Spencer. Yeah, oh, something yeah, Spencer. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Super Joe never really comes into it. He talks to Spencer during the game, but mm. he's not a playable character. No. Hey, hey, ding, title ding, drop. Ding. hey, title drop. Hey, title drop. Heinrich, do you want to play a quick game with yeah. us before we go? Yeah, if I'd love to. <laughs> it just came out. It let's, just pops out sometimes. Let's play a game of Wed, Bed, Dead, everybody. Hey, mm-hmm. So we're going to give you three video game characters. You're going to tell us who you want to wed, okay. who you want to bed, yeah. and, and who you want dead. This sounds good. Sound good? So mm-hmm. um, and this is all randomly generated. Beep, bop, boop, boop. So this first one, uh, she's in the new Super Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. I think she's her first time in this game. Uh, she's from Kid Icarus, Palutena. Oh. Palutena. She's a... Uh, I actually don't know much or anything about her, really. I never heard of her. She, uh, she helps Kid Icarus, a.k.a. Pitt. She's a nice angel. She's in a flowy white dress and has long green hair. I like the long green hair. Do you? I'm kind of digging that. Yeah. Yeah, so she's actually yeah. very good. Yes. Uh, she's got magical power. She can fly. She helps Pitt fly. Mm-hmm. I think she, like, transforms, or she can transform anything oh. in, into something else. So that's pretty cool to keep in mind. Mm. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, Palutena is is the first one from Super Smash Bros. or Kid Icarus. So I'm supposed to decide if I want to marry her, have sex with her, or, or kill her. Kill her. Kill her? Yeah. Or use one of your inventions on her. Oh, yeah, they, I'll they, just they, hand her one of my inventions. <laughs> uh, this next one uh, from the Tekken series, Kazuya Mishima. Oh. Are you, are you familiar with him, Calvin? Uh, I think he's one of the main guys. I at am. Tekken. He's a, a boss. He, he looks like he's going to prom. Right? <laughs> The he, purple shirt and the gray vest. Yeah, man. He is a Japanese businessman who mm. has devil genes, so he can turn into a devil. Wait, devil as in like pants? 
De- what? Devil brand jeans. Devil jeans? No, Fashion. not devil jeans. Oh. <laughs> like <laughs> button devil button fly devils. Jeans like G E N E. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So you can he can turn into a purple skinned devil huh. if you're into that sort of thing. Uh. You can fly, shoot lasers. Oh. Okay. Is and lasers. Hey. Oh, I do like lasers. He he's after. got them built in like all 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 the time. Yeah. Huh. That's not. Is he a bad guy? He, he is very. Evil. He's very evil. Yeah. Uh oh. He looks it. But yeah. keep that in mind. Be there. Oh jeez. The um, so Pilotena, <laughs> Kazuya Mishima, and uh, <laughs> this one uh, was on our list, and I can't believe it came up finally the first time. Um, it's um, I don't even know how to say it here. Michael Jackson as the Moonwalker uh, from, oh. from the Genesis game. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. I remember we, when that game came out? Remember that, right? It's so he's, huge. he's got he's got the he's got the the suit, the hat, the tie, the glitter, whatever he throws at you. Yeah, you know? yeah. The pizzazz. Huh. The pizzazz. There we go. So. <laughs> Okay. Wow, Michael Jackson has a moonwalk. So, Oof, uh, that's not age well. Yeah. <laughs> you can go first. So, we got uh, yes. Palutena, Kazuya Mishima, or Michael Jackson. Wed, bed, dead. What are your choices here? Well, I guess I would marry Michael Jackson because. Mm, really? Well, wow. I feel like we have a lot in common. We're both misunderstood geniuses. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hey. It would probably killed a lot of people, but you can't prove it. <laughs> That's kind of inarguable. <laughs> Killed their childhood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can't argue that Michael stood. Michael Jackson is not a misunderstood genius. Sure. Wow. <laughs> or that he probably killed people. <laughs> yeah, that he probably killed a couple yeah. of people. Um, Interesting. And, then, and plus, he's rich. And he's rich. So you gotta. Yeah, he's got a great house. He's got that playground. He's got a fucking playground. Um, theme Mon- park. Thing. Monkeys. Um, <laughs> a lot of flashy outfits. Yeah. Try on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I guess I would. Oh, he's got the glove too. Oh, that, right, you yeah, may kind of look right. that. Yeah, he likes he's got sh- gloves, silvery like shiny gloves. He's got silvery shiny arms. arms. <laughs> right, that's true. I there's guess something you do there. have a lot in oh, common. Yeah. There's something there. Not could, not too much in common. You could put that glove on a robot arm. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh. Dancing robots. Oh man. That'd be great. That'd be great. Was that one of the villains? In Dancing robot, game? probably. The game is insane. A dancing robot in that game? Uh, I don't think a dancing one. Okay, I can't remember. Mm. Hmm. All right, just uh, curious. We got a uh, Palutena and Kazuya Mishima. Palutena, uh, I guess I'd bed her. Yeah. Okay. She was very attractive. Um, she's, she's magic. Yeah, I hope she doesn't mind my water bed. <laughs> it's not a normal water bed. It's a. Oh, here we go. Well, normal water beds are kind of, I don't mean this, this to sound insulting or dismissive, but mm. stupid. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so mine is a waterfall bed. Oh, okay. Oh. And so you you are constantly falling. I figured. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a not, it's kind of an endless, it's one of those like infinity pools, <laughs> Literally, but yeah. it's yeah. a waterfall. I thought you said it's so, like sharks in your water bed or something. No, but, that would be stupid. <laughs> yeah. uh, How do you sleep if you're falling? It's All great. The- you're weightless. If you're constantly falling. Oh, it's like Joe Rogan. You're weightless. <laughs> in his pod. That he oh, does he sleep in a. He sleeps in like a deprivation tank or something. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. That's great. I would love to try that. Just float and just have all your thoughts go away for a minute. I'd be too scared. But also because like, I turn on my side a lot. So I don't want to like, drown. I don't think you can drown. Uh... Can you drown in those? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would think so. It's a pod full of water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like kind of like, it's it's like the Dead Sea where you kind of float above. Like I, I, I think. Like yeah. That. It's hard to sink. Mm. Even for a fatso like me, <laughs> I know you're. Yeah. I know you were thinking it. You yeah, you would. You would lay bitch. on top of the water like a, like one of those water striders. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin can walk on water now. Oh boy. Ah oh, God. So, but yeah, some people don't like the waterfall uh, bed because they're like, uh. And this is a quote. They'll say like, "Constantly falling makes me anxious." <laughs> I can what, see uh, that. Okay, fine. Yeah, but so, Palutena can fly, so she might be a cool. She oh, might that's be a good cool point. Yeah, yeah, she probably won't mind. No, yeah, she'd be cool with it. And then I guess I'd kill the other guy oh. since Kazuya? he's an evil devil. Yeah. <laughs> Though he seems like he might be hard to kill. Uh, he's pretty hard in this game. No matter um, what happens, you will end up killing him. Even if he really hurts you, you will end up being the winner. So, yeah. Somehow you'll kill him. Oh, maybe one of your machines. Maybe your toaster oven will chop his yeah, head off. Yeah, I'll hand him my chainsaw, machine gun. Cho- cho- um, salt to chopper. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Good choices. Great reasons. Right. What Thank about you. you? Oh boy. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I think I'm going to have to. 
really want to. Hmm. It's a tough one. Um, I'm going to wed Kazuya Mashima. Oh, really? I wed him. Hmm. Um, I need some new pants, and he's got those devil jeans. <laughs> he said so. Um, having a he, so he's got kind of magic to it. And the Palatine thing, I'm gonna get to in a second. But he can teach me to fight. Yes, he can protect me. He's well for now. No one's gonna. What, what, what happens to him? Uh, well, I mean, he's gonna be evil. Well, right now he is evil. I, I get that, and it sucks. I'll try to. I'll try <laughs> the, the classic sucks. person making excuses for their abusive. Look, he's evil. I I get that. I know, but and I get that he makes a lot of money. He's got great hair. Uh, so I think I'll try to tame him down a little bit. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, you yell at me about changing people. You'll not change him. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just be like, dude, don't kill that guy. Just, just leave him alone. He's, he's learned his lesson, hon. That's what I'll say. <laughs> you know? He's learned his lesson. Leave him alone. Um, and he, tons of money. Because like, well, these evil bosses in Japan always have yeah. tons of money. Oh, no. He is rich. Yeah. So that's cool. Right. Um, definitely bed Palutena. That seems fun. Digging the green hair. And uh, she can transform into anything. What would you ever transform into? Shakira, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you mean a human person? I thought you meant like a fly or an owl. No. <laughs> no, I mean, she, you know, she, she looks great herself, obviously. But hey. If you I bet her, that's a sore point for her. You're like, hey, can you transform into Right? Yeah, like, right. Oh, you think I hey, don't you're, look you're, good? You're a beautiful, magical no, angel. But do. I really want 1989 Cindy Crawford for a second. Like, You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they'll help her self-esteem. Yeah, sure. well, she's an angel. She might be cool. She's fine. He gets it. And half the dead, your boy MJ. Oh. I mean, look, great music. We get it. He survived. He's not canceled. He's still not canceled. He, he's not? He, no, people still well, play his music all the time. They still play it, but he's still partially canceled. <laughs> partially, not fully. Yeah. No, no. People no. who did way less worse stuff are done. Yeah. I love that we partially we cancel people based on two things. How bad was the thing, and how much do we like it? Yeah. <laughs> it really it's is true. very true. Yeah, Wait, this guy sucks. Canceled. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. We'll cancel Quentin Tarantino immediately. You're like too many foot shots. That's canceled. why. <laughs> that's why R. Kelly didn't like you in the first place. So that's why R. Kelly's done, man. People just hate, didn't like him as a person. So like, no, that's not true. You peed on one too many people, Robert. <laughs> But no, people still, lo- no, well, no, people loved R. Kelly for a while because yeah, remember he the, when the he game was I know they did. Flat out caught. I yeah. Now they turn him fast. Well, because there MJ's were, immortal. Uh, well, MJ's more complicated, I think. It's uh, true because yeah, isn't it like less conclusive? Isn't it still yeah? Because well, the problem with the MJ evidence is that it's not as conclusive. Whereas with R. Kelly, there's multiple videotapes Tons. of him peeing Gross. on and abusing women. One of his music videos is just him peeing on someone. Yeah. <laughs> basically. <laughs> if by music video you mean Pornhub search, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, and R. Kelly, like, like it was very clear. Yeah. What are you trying? But also, R. Kelly hasn't been in a video game. If he was in a video game, we'd have a different. Was he in Def Jam? <laughs> Fight for New York? No. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that was like 50 Cent, right? Yeah. Uh, Wu Tang and people like that. The Wu Tang had a, had a thing. Oh, oh no, 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 sorry, sorry. It was all Def Jam. Yeah. LL. But 50 Cent was in it, right? Cannabis oh. was in it. Fiddy might have been in that one. Yeah, it was all Def Jam. Mm. So. 50, surprisingly, not canceled. Should no. be. Hey, it's all right. Uh, his mom was a lesbian, so that's probably why. Anyway. Um, this is really hard because mm. I, I, you want to get in them devil jeans? No, it's more of I'm just trying to figure out what to do with Mount Michael Jackson. <laughs> Aren't we all? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I like okay, so I Moonwalker Michael Jackson, like that's what 80? Yeah, or like early 90s. I think it was well, it's Genesis, so late 80s. Okay, I feel like I could or work early. with that. Oh, yeah, maybe this is before he did. Anything. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because mm, if it's yeah. pre allegations, it's post Home Alone. Not post Malone, but post Home Alone. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we'll get back to Michael. So All I right. know I definitely kill Kazuya. Wow. Yeah. Want, I thought you want to fuck that. Yeah, he's a devil, dude. Evil devil. I don't care about. No. My love don't cost a thing, as J Lo once said. <laughs> so no, dead. Right. Okay. I really had to figure out this Michael Jackson thing. Because if. If Kazuya didn't fuck kids, we don't know that. <laughs> we kind of do. Never. I mean, no one's ever talked about it. That hasn't been a Tekken storyline. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson definitely did. I mean, I definitely feel like he was inappropriate with kids. That's fair. That's okay. a given. But uh, I just need to figure out the time. You know what? Uh, damn. Mm. 
Mm. Five seconds on the clock. Okay, well, hmm. Game show. I guess then, given the circumstances, I would wed Palutena. Okay. I think she'd be nice, and we could have flying. We could fly around. I'm late all the time. Yeah. Except for today, which I was shocked by. So yeah. we could do that. I guess I would just bed Michael Jackson. Oh, my God. I know this is going to be real weird. You know, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be you... like, you're so tall. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're really big. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want a lollipop before we start? Or Kevin loves candy. It might work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna be so disgusted. He's like, "Duh, you're covered in hair. Duh, G- grossest thing I've ever done. It's like fucking a monkey." Oh god! Oh god! I think with that, I enough said. Yeah, <laughs> I think on that note, we're done. Thank you Heinrich, so- thank, you thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you today. for having me. <laughs> Uh, good luck on the your rest of your inventions. Yes, we hope thank it, you very much. We hope it works out. And, <laughs> yeah, me too. It'd uh, be nice. Yeah. So one day, you know, what, if I see your logo, and so I'll buy it. Whatever it is, yeah. the next thing I see in awesome. Bed Bath and Beyond or something, cool. I'll read the instructions. My wife doesn't read the instructions. She just tries to go full on do something. Like read the directions first. Yeah. You yeah. gotta break it. I don't think Sam hurt. should get any of his products. Though. No, I'll tell her not. I'll just keep it. Yeah. So. They're all at the sharper image. Basically, <laughs> everything at the sharper image <laughs> is one of mine. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Heinrich. Everybody else, thanks for listening to Playboy Cactus Podcast. Talk talk to you next week. Week. Bye. Bye. Today's Playboy character is portrayed by writer and comedian Doogie Horner. Please check out his book, This Might Hurt a Bit, which is available on Amazon, or you can also purchase his comedy album, A Delicate Man. Also, stick around to listen to a trailer from the wonderful podcast, World Stealers, produced by More Banana Productions. Buffy and Frodo were in the Hogwarts library late into the night, prepping for the final trek into Mordor. Liz, I have to stop you. Why? Because this already sounds like the greatest story of all time. World Stealers! (laughs) More Banana Podcasts presents World Stealers. A fan fiction podcast. I'm Kate. And I'm Liz. And every episode, we'll take you on a new adventure through a familiar fandom with a hot off the press original fanfic. World Stealers has everything wizards, uh, sea creatures, ooh. adventure and daring, yeah. terrible accents. Yeah. So if you're a bit of a geek or you just love great stories, World Stealers is for you. Find us at the gates of Mordor or wherever you listen to podcasts.